Hey everyone, it's Tori. Welcome back to another video here at Bits of Polish. Thank you for tuning in. Today I have a random Glisten and Glow haul to share with you. I recently saw a video from Carolyn Wild Moon Lacquer here on YouTube and wanted to pick up a couple polishes that she recently picked up. So I did get a four-piece anniversary set, which are these four polishes here. I have a couple other random ones that just were really speaking to me on their website, so I went a little bit crazy. Some of these polishes were part of like a clearance deal, a sale deal, so I got a great deal on some of these. Other ones were regular price, but after Carolyn's video, I knew that I wanted to pick these up, and I did just that. So we're going to go ahead and get into it. I do have things done a little bit differently this time. I did um, go ahead and swatch everything on a nail wheel, and then I'm going to go ahead and show the polishes over like a coordinating base color. So the first set of polishes here are these four here on the left bottom. These are from her 14th anniversary quad. I do have a couple other random polishes, but we'll save those for the end of the video. So the first one in the quad is this one called number 14. This polish is described as being a black base loaded with large particle shimmer that shifts red to pink to orange to yellow to green. One on its own. So here we have it in one coat. I'm going to go ahead and try to build this one up, but then we're going to swatch it over a base color, see what it looks like, and then we're going to swatch it over black. This one looked so beautiful when Carolyn shared this on her channel. I knew I just had to get it. It's, so the base color here that I'm going to try it over is one from Essie, which is called Slumber Party On. We're going to go ahead and put it over this one. Too much. I was just trying to figure out what polish I could use to put this over top of, and I kind of went with a pink. So there it is over... A pink base it changes up the base color for sure it makes it look a little more vibrant putting it over that Essie polish and then I'm going to go over a black cream here just as beautiful you could easily pair this on its own you don't need to put it over something else but I was really inspired by Carolyn's video to try it this way so that's why I did it third coat here this will probably be a two to three coater, depending on application and nail length. So that is what it looks like in three coats on the left. One is this polish. This one is called Celebrate We Will. This is described as an eggplant purple loaded with color shifting shimmer that shifts green to pink. I'm not sure how this one will pair over a couple other colors that I currently have. We'll go ahead and play around with it here and see. So this is it in one coat. I'm going to throw on a quick second coat here. Carolyn, I don't remember if she bought this one. I want to say she bought these first two polishes and shared them in her video, and I think that's what really drew me in. So there it is in the second coat. I'm going to go ahead and put it over a base color here, and I used this one from Victorian Varnish, which is Eurythrite. I think this will be beautiful over that Victorian Varnish polish. Oh, that's pretty. You definitely don't have to do the combos that I'm doing or even layer these polishes. I just really found that Carolyn's video was super duper helpful. And trying to play with different combos for these polishes. And I'm doing it more for my curiosity probably than anything, but I love how it looks over that berry base. It changes it up just ever so slightly. Now we're going to go in with one coat over a black cream. This is really pretty. So that is Celebrate We Will. I'm not sure which way I like it. I feel like putting it over a base color definitely deepens it up versus with two coats on its own. I feel like I like it with the base. Either one of these base colors makes the shimmer pop even more. 
you'll have to let me know your thoughts down below. So next up is this one. This is called 14 Years What a Dream. This is a beauty. This one is a vibrant blue jelly base loaded with holographic flakes. With this one, I did decide to pair it on its own. I have a similar base color that we're going to play with, and then I'm going to go ahead and put it over black as well. So this is it with one coat on its own. It dries down to a little bit of a mattified finish. So I'm going to throw on a quick second coat. This is a jelly type polish, so I imagine this is going to be a good three coat polish. I want to get a little more on my brush. I didn't have near enough on at that time. This is a beautiful, fun, bright blue. So there it is in two coats. And then I'm going to go over a base color here, which is this one by Orly. This is called off the grid. It's really pretty over that blue base. I don't think this is going to do much over a black. I was a little hesitant whether to use it over black just because I don't know if it's going to pick much of anything up with this one, but we'll see. But I love it over that blue base. It brightens it up, changes the color tone just ever so slightly. I don't think it'll do a huge amount it's definitely mutant out that jelly base. So I wouldn't recommend it over a black, I don't think. I don't think that would be the ideal way to wear this. But it's fun nonetheless just to play around with it. So you have two coats of 14 Years What a Dream on their own. One coat over Orly off the grid. And then one coat over a black base. Last one in this set is this one. This is called Blingin' in 14. This is a topper. It's a clear base polish loaded with blue to green to rose to gold to silver metallic flakes. I was trying to get out. There's rose gold glitter in here, and I couldn't say that. <laughs> this one I did swatch on its own, and I'm going to put it over a base color as well. So this is what one coat looks like on its own. For my base color, I went in with one from Victorian Varnish. This is Morency. If it's going to look as good over top of that base color as I think. It's a little bit more densely packed. This That's pretty though. This definitely is a denser polish. But I think that base color pairs beautifully with this. So we have one coat of Blingin' in 14 and then one coat over that Victorian varnish polish. I definitely like it over a base color versus on its own. It's really so we have this one, which is called Midnight. This is from Scarlet's Desert Skies collection. Don't know when this one came out. It was just a pretty polish, so I had to pick it up. This one is like a purple jelly base. You've got holographic shimmer in here and then rainbow colored shifting flakies. Here it is in one coat. I'm going to go ahead and build it up to a second coat and I do have a base color that I'm going to put this over as well to see what it looks like. This one's definitely a little bit squishy, a little bit sheer. I imagine it's going to be a good three coater. And this would probably be more of like a blurple base. It's not quite as purple leaning as I thought it was going to be. It's definitely more of that blurple base color. And then for my base, I am using Orly's Crash the Party. It, it changes up that base color just ever so slightly with that more blue-purple base. I do like it, though, over that purple. I think that's pretty. So you have two coats of Midnight on its own, and then one coat over Orly Crash the Party. So I have this one in Live For Today. This is a really pretty purple leaning shimmer polish that has particles that shift pink to gold to red. This one was beautiful. Once I swatched it, I did two coats on this nail wheel here and it is so beautiful, so bright. So that is it in two coats. Have another beautiful purple. 
This is All the Jingle Ladies. This is a deep plum purple linear holographic polish. I didn't think this one needed put over anything either, so I did just swatch it on its own in two coats. And that is what it looks like. You can see that beautiful colorful rainbow. Absolutely beautiful. It does dry down just a little bit flat, so top coat is going to be another good option for this one as well. For the next polish, I have this one. I don't know if I picked it out or if my husband did. This is Capricorns Are the Goat. This is a flaky topper. It's an iridescent, iridescent color shifting flaky topper polish. I couldn't find the, this on their website, and I don't know how I picked it up because I, I searched for it and I couldn't find it anywhere. I think it was available. I'm not sure, though. I'll have to link it below if I can find it. This is a really pretty polish, though. So I did put it one coat on its own here, and then I have a base color. I'm going to swatch it over, and that is Orly's String of Hearts. And this topper, when I was on the site, I don't think anything specific... Oh, that's pretty. I don't think anything specific specifically prompted me to get this one. I was going to say there might be some holographic sparkle in here as well. And I think there is. I think it does have a little hint of holographic gorgeousness in here. One that was inspired by Carolyn. This is Tinley Park After Dark. And this is a dark purple jelly base loaded with color shifting shimmer that shifts red to orange to yellow to green. I wanted this one because I saw Caroline swatch it over multiple base colors, and I knew I had to get it. I'm going to go ahead and throw on a quick second coat here. This is a really beautiful polish. Caroline swatched it, and I don't remember what she put this over as far as like a base color. I was going to try to take notes of that so I could do the same thing, and I couldn't remember what she put it over, and I didn't end up going back and trying to watch the video, but... I do have a base color I'm going to use here in just a second. So there it is in two coats. Then I have a base color. This is Orly's Rooting for You. I go quite like I planned. We'll see. Oh, that's not too bad. Okay. That's pretty. I like how it changes up that brown cream. That's really fun. I like how that looks. And lastly, I have this one. This is 43 and filled with glee. This is a clear base topper loaded with color shifting shimmer that shifts purple to blue to pink to orange to yellow to green, and it has some holographic flakes. This is what it looks like on its own. And then I'm going to put it over a black base, and we're going to put it over a white. I don't know if the white's going to transform this too much, if you're going to be able to see too much of anything. It is pretty over white. If my camera will pick it up, it might make it look a little bit bright. try it that way see so that is what it looks like over a white base over a black and I think this is going to be beautiful yeah that's pretty I like how that looks definitely a contender for a fun manicure that is everything for today's video I hope that you guys enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I'll see you in my next one